Welcome to Go Mustang Sports. I'm Dave McHugh, joined by field hockey coach Laurel Martin. And coach, uh, the home season is now over. you got one game left in the season. And first and foremost, you congratulate you winning this uh, field hockey program in Stevenson history now, getting the uh, getting that record taken care of. I right. know that was the goal of the season. That was a goal, yeah. So you've got that now under your belt. Mm -hmm. you got one game left in the season. Still don't even know. <laughs> what the future holds. It right. could be conference playoffs, it could be ECACs. It's kind of a, a little bit of a wait and see type situation you guys have going on now. Yeah, we're we're in a tricky situation. Um, first of all, just a comment on the uh, the winning a season ever for Stevenson. I mean, that's, um, that's an exciting thing for yeah. Stevenson field hockey. Uh, we're continuing to build and create more and more wins um, and we're not um, you know, we're not going to stop. So it's just a building from here, getting um, Good athletes in and, um, and and building the program, just hopefully continuing to climb sure. that ladder. Well, and certainly have climbed the last few years. Yeah, yeah, we've we've gotten better every year, so mm -hmm. that's good. Yeah. Um. So at this point in stage, yeah, we have Hood uh, tomorrow, and we're hoping to secure a very strong game against them, and then we're on hold. So we kind right. of had the, a bye week. Yeah. So we have to wait and see what's going to play out with our conference, um, and then we have to wait and see. Uh, you know what will happen potentially for ECAC if if um, the NCAA tournament doesn't work out if we don't make conferences if we do make conference right. so we've got a couple of weeks um, in lingo of course this is your one last uh, spot in the conference to play for you're not playing for a four or five game you're really playing for the top four you're right there in the mix mm -hmm. a win over hood obviously is needed yes. you need some help outside of that and we'll get into all the particulars but Clearly, just get the job done that you need to get done and let everything else fall in its place. Yeah, at this point in stage, that's all we have left, is we have Hood. That's right. our only definite. So we handle Hood, and we play well, and we play with passion, and we play our style, and then we'll see where the cards fall. Previous game was Lebanon Valley. No, it mm -hmm. didn't go the way you guys wanted it to, right. obviously. Big 2 nothing lead at halftime. Mm -hmm. Tough Lebanon Valley, good team, comes back on you. Uh, ends up winning with just seconds left, 3-2. To then rally and then win your game on Saturday probably at least is a good thing that tells you your team can forget the tough stuff if they have to and focus on the next thing in line. Yeah, I mean, us coming back and playing homecoming day, right. we had a lot of alumni on campus, we had a lot of recruits on campus. Senior um, night on top of that. Senior night, we had, uh, the, the campus was just flowing, football game, soccer game, right. at lots of activities, um, and to be able to come out and focus and secure a 5-0 win against an Albright team who's not doing very well if you look at them with their win-loss record, but they're a good squad, so they're a little bit... Um, Underrated, um, their caliber of players stronger than what it's. Well, their yeah, their their win loss doesn't look that great, but their conference record was kind of was the opposite of that. Yeah. Pretty good job in conference. This conference has been tough. Lebanon Valley has been it's up there. Conference. Messiah is yep. up there. You guys have played well. Avernia has been playing well. Arcadia. Um, Arcadia has certainly been playing well yes. this season. This has been was this as big a, a toughest battle in the conference as you expected, or maybe tougher. Uh, I think last year's was a battle just as similar just as, as this year's. Yeah, um, this year's team, I think, um, specifically for us, uh, I, I think that we didn't perform as well consistently as we could have. Um, so last year there was a little bit more of a consistency with maybe a little bit more of a less talented squad. Mm. Um, so this year I was a little bit upset with um, our inability to perform consistently. Sure. Um, if we would have, we would be at a different spot right now. Consistency is the one thing you hear from coaches all yeah. the time. That's yeah. what they always want. That's what they always preach for. Speaking of consistency, though, mm -hmm. you've got a player on this team who's consistently breaking yes. records. Yes, yes. Caitlin Dempsey. We know going in, we haven't talked a lot about her because really her games have spoken for herself. Mm -hmm. But she now breaks her own record in scoring in a season that she set last, right. last year. She's broken a few more. She's on the verge of breaking a couple more. This She has really been everything that this field hockey team has been about. Yeah, I mean, Kaylin Dempsey, Allison Cagle, um, and uh, there's just a core of girls there on the forward line that really work well together and that are creating and breaking records. The thing that's neat about Dempsey is I've only had her for three years. Yeah. I've had her for three years. I, I, I really wish I would have had her for four sure. because look at maybe what we could have done with all of that. 
But, um, you know, she's setting records and I'm recruiting kids to come in and break those records. And that's what building a program is all about. She's a great kid, hardworking kid. Kegel's setting her up. She's setting kegs up. Those two work well together on the forward line, graduating both of them. Yeah. So we need, we need some big shoes. What's interesting is everyone knows her talent. Everybody you play against is targeting yes. her. And I remember we talked the, near the beginning of the year about how she was being double teamed. Uh -huh. And how everybody else had to step up. It looks like everybody's else stepped up. She has now gotten open, and now she's back to her, not that she was ever away from her scoring mm -hmm. abilities, but defenses have left her open now a little bit more often. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, it's every every team that we play has a different style and a different sure. approach. So some teams just mark her and double team her, they front her, they back everything. They're all around her. She's swarmed. Um, but then she just lays off the assists. Yeah, um, and she's on the verge of breaking that and record. And she's on the verge of breaking the <laughs> assist record. So she can handle it. Yeah. Um, and we just and we have the players around to kind of to take up the space if she's if she's covered strongly. But um, I think she prefers. If they're backed off of her, sure. A bit. <laughs> Any goal scorer would. It's always nicer. Yeah, I remember the overtime goal she had last time. She yeah. liked the fact that there was no defense next to her. Um, so what do you do with this team? You've got a game on Tuesday. Right. You then don't necessarily have a game until at least Wednesday of the following week in the conference mm -hmm. playoffs. Should mm -hmm. you make it? And then if you don't, you still kind of want to be prepared for ECACs. How do you keep this team kind of? Moving forward, but not knowing where they're moving forward to. Yeah, it's it's a challenging situation to be in. So we're going to handle Hood, and then after the conclusion of Hood, we'll see where we fall um, within the conference. Right. And if we've got a conference game, we'll know who we're going to play, and then we're full charging 100% ahead the following day to prepare for them. If we don't make the conference playoffs, then at that point in stage, we will continue to practice because we've got the potential for an ECAC bid. Right. Um, and... Uh, there's always an opportunity to gain and grow, sure. and if we have practice times, we're going to use them. Might as well, and, yeah. it, and it helps for the underclassmen too. Prepare for the next season as well. Right. Well, it's certainly been exciting to watch this team. Eleven wins on yeah. the season so far, and counting, and counting, and counting. We're, we're not done with the win total just yeah. yet. We know that. Uh, good luck against Hood, obviously. Good Thank luck. You. Hopefully, you'll make the playoffs. Hopefully, in a week, we are talking about playoff. Hmm. hockey here at Stevenson. Thanks for joining me. Appreciate okay. it. And we'll talk to you next week. Okay, thank she you. She is Laurel Martin. I'm Dave McHugh. We'll catch up with the team next week here on Go Mustang Sports.